With this session update, I'm Shannon Lurkey. The Capitol Press Corps gathered around Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka following today's floor session to try to get a sense of where budget negotiations stand. Here's the audio of that media availability. Well, I guess the first question is just kind of get a status update on, on budget talks. And then the sub question is, have you really run out of time and are you now just trying to figure out a way how to segue from regular session to whatever comes next to when that might be? There's a lot of variables. Uh, one is the budget targets, which we are still working on. Uh, we, we gave a significant, uh, significant offer yesterday and I do believe they'll give a significant, significant offer back. But that's, that's just, we have to get that one uh, down first. And then once we have that, uh, uh, we'll start to think about some of the policy issues. Um, it's possible that we get done on time. It's also some, some major roadblocks that we have to navigate through. So uh, everything from uh, police accountability to uh, emergency powers, uh, it's, it's just uh, California mission standards. Uh, there's just a number of things that we have to, to figure out. But I think the good news is we're talking to each other, not over each other, which sometimes happens, and uh, that's not happening. So, so that's what I, I see. Uh, you know, we're, we're still waiting for their response today, uh, but we, uh, throughout the weekend, we were communicating, and so we'll see. Okay. The, uh, the high-level talks, have they gotten past budget numbers to any policy? You mentioned, you know, police and California standards and whatnot. Are they just... Well, they, they mix together, but we know that the budget targets are critical so that the committees can work. And so we all want the committees to do what they're supposed to be doing, and that is working through the numbers, which are numbers and policy. But without the targets, it's hard to agree. If you're a committee chair, it's hard to agree either side. And so that's what we're, why we're working hard on that. Last two years ago, I believe we got the targets on, I think it was Friday, which was too late. You know, we're at Tuesday now, and I think we're Tuesday. And uh, it's every day is one together. Should we, right. should we tell? Should we tell them it's right? Wednesday? So I don't even know what day it is. It's just kind of at every day. But uh, but the point is that we're, we're we're not behind yet. And then you have the complexity of all the issues. So you gave a significant offer. Are there are certain pieces that you gave a little bit on. The I can't tell you that. It's under the cone of silence. Uh, but you know, it, to get a budget done when we are so far apart, which we were. Two years ago um, requires people to take some risks and, and uh, if you go back to two years ago uh, both sides fought for a lot of things that we felt were important and if the other side never budges it's still our responsibility to get the budget done uh, and what I'm, I'm asking for nonpartisan legal help is uh, is if we go beyond the 17th now we're in a special session uh, what are the consequences of not getting done in Jul at July 1 and, and because I, the, the courts ruled two years ago and their ruling basically tells me that a lot of things would, would shut down and that would not be good for Minnesota funding the nursing homes and all the different things that two years ago they just funded uh, a and so we're trying to get, I want clarity for that, that I would give out to the governor and the speaker and the public that it's a much bigger deal now. And so, so we're committed to, to not, uh, not, not shutting down Minnesota, but we're also fighting for the things that we think are important, which is the same as the other side, but the issues just happen to be different. Minority Leader Dow just a few moments ago, I know he's not at the table, but he suggested that um, House Democrats are not relenting on any tax increases. Is any offer they brought to you include tax increases? I know that you don't want to see any of that. Yeah, so we're, when I, we're waiting for a significant offer, but it, 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 one of the few things that we've said we, we will not allow is a tax increase. And so that's, uh, and the reason why we're saying that is we have the $1.6 billion surplus, another roughly $2.8 billion of federal stimulus that comes to the state, but we're not even addressing the billions and billions of dollars that went to uh, K-12, higher ed, uh, local governments, there's a lot more money that came into to Minnesota. So we're saying, look, we definitely don't need a tax increase on anyone. That is a key number that must break 
for us to get done on time, but you know, I, I think, I believe they'll see the reasoning of not needing a tax increase, but you know, that, that's part of negotiations. Senator? But they haven't offered tax increases. I can't say that. It's under this cone of silence. <laughs> Senator, I know you all have opposed the California's car standards for quite yeah. a while, but can you talk about how and why it sort of rose to a higher priority list, it seems, in terms of drawing a line in the sand, especially over the environmental budget? How did we get there? So uh, the, the governor decided to use uh, uh, rulemaking rather than go through the legislative process uh, to basically adopt California's standards for air, uh, for cars, and, and so that's why we're, we're concerned about that. We don't think Minnesota's anything like California. Think about the pollution in, in Los Angeles. It's nothing like Minnesota, yet we're going to uh, uh, have to comply to their the air standards that they have. And so uh, we, the courts ruled this year that, they, that the governor can do it. I don't think we ever uh, fought and said he couldn't do it. We just thought it should be done legislatively. Uh, that, that the legislative process should define what Minnesota wants instead of the governor just doing it on his own. And so, you know, our chair is very passionate about it, and uh, we're not, you know, so that, that's where he was, but, but in the end we've got to figure out how to work our way through. That's a, a big issue. Uh, on their side, we think that some of the, the, the police measures that they want to do, we feel like they're anti-police, that they aren't good for uh, actually keeping our streets safe and keeping enough police officers out there. And so that's one area that we push back on as well, but they have threatened uh, to not cooperate if we don't do what they want. And, and that, that's why I said we need to talk about what are the consequences of actually choosing not to get done. And, and I believe we will get done. I believe with the, uh, the speaker and the governor, I, I think we can find a way through, but it's not easy. I see, I see Craig loitering, so one more question. Yeah. Are there any items that you know that uh, push to a probable to new special session and give them Say it one more time. Are there any issues you know you'll push to a probable June special session? And are there any budget bills that are small enough that will impact the, the bigger picture that we can move? Yeah, there, there are some budget bills that we can do ahead of time. I think like agriculture. I just don't know if we will. Um, but but there's, there's just different things that both sides are going to have to live with to get done on time, and that's the part where we're still in the negotiation. So targets are the first step, and then the big policy issues that we disagree on. We, we really think the emergency powers should go away. Uh, that's, that's uh, I think, critical as, as we're trying to get back to normal. Uh, in the Senate, uh, we don't require masks. If you've been vaccinated, it's very safe. And so that's kind of the direction we hope the governor um, realizes the state is going, but you know, we've got to figure that out. For them, it's police accountability, um, you know, some other issues like that that are making it a little more difficult. But does having that likelihood of a June special session kind of take the pressure out of the place and, and, and mean that, that some of this stuff can linger longer? Well, I think we always need to be working on it because if you don't, it doesn't matter whether you, you gotta, you got to be working on it. So whether it's working to finish the 17th, if it gets pushed beyond that, the governor must call us back on the 14th of June under emergency powers. So um, we, both the speaker and I want the committee process to work, and so we want to make sure they have enough time to do their work. So that's where I'm, I can't predict. We're trying to get done on the 17th, but we know that there's another date out there that we that we could be aiming for. We'll have to see. All right. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Take care.